वेलकम एवरीवन इट्स स्टूडेंट वर्सेस टीचर एट द कतार मास्टर्स 2023 गुकेश इज अ स्टूडेंट एट द वेस्ट ब्रिज आनंद चेस एकेडमी एंड संदीपन चंदा इज अ टीचर देयर लेट्स सी हाउ दिस गोस चंदा ओपन्स द गेम विद 1d4 एंड वन थिंग इज क्लियर दैट संदीपन डज नॉट टीच ओपनिंग्स एट द एकेडमी सो clearly they're going to have a original game both are very creative players and sandeepan brings his knight out to f3 and he's also known for playing some offbeat openings so it will be very interesting to see what he does gukesh also brings out his knight and are we going to see the queen's gambit declined with c4 or are we going to witness the london system ooh we have the london on the board bishop f4 played by sandeepan Although Sandeepan's rating right now is two four nine six, his highest elo was about twenty six fifty. So very strong player, Gukesh hits the center with the move c five, and Sandeepan plays his pawn to e three. The calmness with which Sandeepan is making his moves is very cool, uh, and Gukesh as well a very calm player. Knight c six. It's going to be interesting to see who is able to. outwit the other h3 played so we have a pure sort of london system on the board later on we might see white pushing his pawn to c3 getting his knight out to d2 but gukesh now plays his pawn to c6 you know the general move here could be queen b6 or e6 but the moment he goes g6 sandeepan sort of changes his mind and goes knight to c3 so no longer pure london now because knight on c3 is not very commonly move there bishop comes out and now chanda takes on c5 okay for gukesh now he can castle it out as black but he goes queen a5 and he wants to not just take this pawn but if you are careless and play a move like bishop e2 to castle the knight e4 unleashes a very powerful attack on this diagonal and that's the reason why sandeepan blocks this diagonal by bringing his knight to d2 so he blocks it and now gukesh can actually take this pawn although you have to be careful about a move like bishop c7 trying to take away the escape squares for the queen and that's the reason why gukesh actually hits the bishop with knight h5 and he tells sandeepan that your bishop is hanging uh, he saves it with bishop h2 but i think what he wants now is bishop c3 oo that was gukesh's idea so he takes on c3 b takes c3 and now a simple move could be just to take the pawn on c5 but gukesh wants more so he takes the pawn on c3 and then he may want to take the pawn on c5 as well when he would be pawn up so sandeepan goes bishop e2 and if you take queen takes c5 then i could play bishop h5 and try to win this pawn so Gukesh quickly goes back with his knight and now he is intending to win this pawn here and Sandeepan says go ahead my friend take it because if you now take it then c4 opens up the position and an open position with the king in the center and white having two bishops could be dangerous so that's the reason why Gukesh also castles and he is saying to his opponent that i don't want your pawn I have a better structure and I am happy with it. So Sandeepan now saves his pawn and he is right now equal material but Gukesh develops the bishop looks at the c2 square. Let's take stock of what's happening here. White has the bishop pair, black has better structure. Knight d4 is a nice move and a good decision now would be to go back with the bishop or take here and then try to take this pawn. but gukesh takes the pawn on c5 and that is a positionally suspect move because now sandeepan after good thought takes on f5 g takes f5 and you can look at the time sandeepan has 43 minutes gukesh has 38 and white has the bishop pair here black's king looks slightly weak and rook b1 fantastic move threats are rook takes b7 also the rook can swing over via b5 and put pressure in the center so gukesh does not even care about that extra pawn that he has won he says to sandeepan you can take the pawn 
now very important you would like to challenge this rook that has reached the seventh rank but the bishop controls that square so you cannot do it white is getting seriously better here rook d8 played and let's see how sandeepan continues this position he goes bishop d3 nice move we've always seen that in these structures g4 can be an idea on the cards to sort of open up the king side but queen f8 played by gukesh he brings his queen back and maybe the queen is well positioned on the g7 square queen a1 played while the position is very complicated and very strategically rich it is clear that white is the one who's pressing here gukesh moves his knight and this is the moment where sandeepan could have gotten a decisive edge by taking whichever way you capture next move you go f3 opening up the rook one rook here queen here it would be a devastating attack but instead he goes rook c7 which is actually not a good idea because the rook was doing a brilliant job on b7 by going here he is actually allowing uh, black to trade one of the reasons why sandeepan preferred this move is because he was afraid that gukesh would move the knight back and launch a double attack but now after the trade of rooks gukesh's position has become slightly more normal you know he can hold on to it but it's still quite difficult bishop a6 played nice move there and with bishop a6 he's attacking the rook the rook moves to d8 and mainly these knights do not have good squares on the board because bishops are crisscrossing across the diagonals f3 played nice move the knight has been kicked off he from here from the central square and it has to move away gukesh goes knight to c5 and attacks the bishop there on a6 once again it has to move away and he plays bishop b5 the knight is attacked where does the knight go now well one thing is that you can reroute the knight to the g6 square so he goes knight e7 but the moment the knight moves this bishop eyes light up because now the e5 square is weak the knight was controlling it and the bishop can come on this all important diagonal which he does sandeepan brings the bishop right in the center heart of black's camp gukesh has to tread carefully now he goes knight g6 attacks the bishop but the bishop can sit beautifully on the f6 square and later white can start pushing his h pawn he does go bishop f6 the position of course has become much more stable for black than before but white still pressing here rook b8 played and sandeepan brings his bishop back to d3 now we all know that gukesh really loves to play for a win but how much does he think that he can play for a win in such a position because also sometimes you know you also have to be very objective when you're playing against a strong opponent f4 played because there could have been ideas to trap the bishop with e5 so f4 stops it right in its tracks and now rook c8 played the rook's position is improved and you can see that gukesh doesn't want to trade the knight for the bishop he wants to keep as much you know complex the position can be on the board h4 played by sandeepan he's actually pressing very well here knight goes back to d7 and he's attacking here but we can push our pawn and where will this knight go actually there are not enough squares he goes h5 and the knight has to move away but where well first he takes but guys is this going to be a checkmate or what because imagine this after queen takes f6 which sandeepan has played if you now play on knight back to f8 then h6 is mate oh gukesh had this in mind he goes queen e7 and he pushes the queen away you can't take the knight because your queen is hanging so if you take the queen then knight takes and black is completely fine so sandeepan comes back which is the best move in the position knight comes to f8 and now you must push the pawn to h6 to create this he must go f6 and then rook b1 trying to enter from the other side this is very important that sandeepan really keeps his advantage by pushing the pawn here threatening the mate 
but he goes rook b1 won't move too soon and that is a major error because it drops all the advantage that white had in this position because now gukesh can stop that pawn in its tracks with h6 and suddenly the black king is completely safe so a big mistake there but will gukesh find it yes he does he plays h6 and now black's position is fine the king now has breathing space here also this pawn could have been such a nice attacker queen b4 offering a trade of queen so now sandeepan hopes that he can actually try and grind this out in the end game where he can hold it against gukesh because right now his position has started to get worse but gukesh goes queen c7 he keeps the queens on the board it is move number 34 sandeepan has 3 minutes gukesh has 8 minutes he goes queen b7 again asking if the queens can be traded well you can trade the queens but gukesh is insisting he goes queen c5 and he wants to take this pawn which would be a nice juicy one sandeepan can actually save it with king f2 but he goes king h2 right now you cannot take it because your rook is hanging so gukesh saves it rook d8 and also prepares to get his knight into the game and e3 pawn is also loose but sandeepan comes back and he's laid a small trap if you take here then rook f1 is what he wants to do and give a check but gukesh can play for a win here with queen b6 rook g3 come here check king e7 give up the pawn and the engines think black is winning here but gukesh is quite you know careful not to take this pawn he goes queen e7 back and that is understandable with such less time on the clock he was threatening to give a check the white king comes up and now gukesh can bring his knight to d7 and bring it into the game this way with this he can attack this he does it knight d7 slowly and steadily gukesh turning on the pressure also moving towards the 40th move mark a queen trade is offered once more but this time it's not going to be the queen which is moving away he brings his knight into the center with 1 minute left for gukesh and 39th move i think the reaching the 40th move and getting 30 minutes not going to be an issue here for both players rook g1 played and look at how sandeepan is creating an attack he wants to go g4 and attack the black king he makes his 40th move goes away gukesh with 10 seconds plays king f8 moves his king away also protects his queen and maybe can have some tactical ideas now queen b2 played threatening a nasty mate in one here 30 minutes for gukesh to work this out of course he's going to see that there is a mate and a beautiful move in the center d4 played here by gukesh with just 2 minutes of thought his point is that if you take which sandeepan has done so now a very nice move he can take the bishop but we all know that gukesh has no idea or no intention of exchanging pieces in this game he just wants to continue he goes queen f6 very nice move you can't take the knight because the queen is hanging and next move you want to take on d4 that's the plan here queen a3 played sandeepan already down to 13 minutes on the clock the position still very rich very tense queen takes d4 whose king is weaker clearly it feels like white at this point our battery died and so i'm just making the moves rook f1 rook d7 rook f3 king g7 queen c1 and rook b7 queen e1 king went back and this is where we join again the phone was replaced and the new batteries were placed on the phone so there we have the game the camera is back and now gukesh plays his rook back to b7 nice move he gets his rook here although in this position queen g1 <coughs> was quite possible there to be played but rook b7 bishop goes to a6 kind of forcing gukesh to go rook b1 again when they would repeat the position but gukesh goes rook to e7 he brings his rook there and now i think sandeepan is back in the game he goes bishop f1 this is still very very complicated both sides have five pawns each so it's been a long game and i think at some point the tiredness is bound to set in gukesh is just 17 years old 
and much much more uh, strong physically than his opponent in terms of energy levels rook d3 played and he brings his queen back to f6 what does sandeepan do now i think a good idea first he gives a check the king has to go to g7 and very important that the knight is controlling this square so that the rook cannot go here and give a check so king comes up and now the threat could be to enter here with the queen and give a check so sandeepan plays his pawn to g3 yes the rook can no longer move here but also the queen has been stopped and maybe the bishop can come out this side knight f2 played by gukesh hitting the rook and also threatening a check here he goes rook b3 the best move in the position and just like that white has created a threat of rook b8 threatening a mate here gukesh is actually on the edge now he must tread very carefully he goes check important and now king g2 is is an important move but sandeepan plays king g1 this is not a good move but gukesh has to find this amazing move queen a1 he has just 3 minutes left oh he finds it and his point is if you take here i have a check and this is game over because if you go here there is here and if you go king h1 queen f2 is a forced mate what a brilliant find by gukesh so he goes c4 and now gukesh plays e5 which is not the best the best move was either queen e1 or queen e2 but what he wanted was that white should not be able to check his king so he plays his pawn to e5 and if you take here he now wants to take on a2 but this rook d3 played by sandeepan maybe not the best move here and gukesh can go queen e1 that seems like a very strong move he takes on a2 which is also a fine move by the way instead of rook d3 queen coming back was the best move but now it's all gone rook d2 played gukesh finds queen a3 attacking this pawn on g3 also defending his rook and suddenly with just 25 seconds left sandeepan makes the move king h1 but you can see that his position is just falling apart queen f3 check is coming in and that is a killer blow because queen f3 if you move the king then you lose the pawn and if you play bishop here then after queen g3 anyway there is a mate so fantastic here queen f3 played and there you can see that bg2 is losing and sandeepan oh they are taking the new score sheets so both the players write their names on the new score sheets because 60 moves have been played and if you play king g1 you lose this pawn with a check if you play bishop g2 then queen g3 th threatens a mate and sandeepan resigns slightly getting up from his chair with great respect there very nice the game by both the players in fact sandeepan was winning and that's what sandeepan instantly says i should have pushed my pawn to h6 i should not have let it go